Yo, what is up you guys? Realistic Gaming here. Today we are finally back with some more Roblox scary stories. I'm actually pretty psyched for these because look at the lineup we got. We got Granny, we got Chunky Chucky, we got Slenderina and I mean Slenderina and Slenderman. And we got Piggy and the last but not least we got the Ouija board. Oh my god, so much evilness in one room <laughs> combined. I don't know if I can take this guys. And I also think this game contains jump scares. So beware, I warned y'all, man. I warned you, you watching? Huh? I told you this had jump scares. So don't get scared whenever the jump scares pop out. And what is up with this blockhead? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, it's like the Kool-Aid man gone wrong or something. Ooh. All right, you guys, and also how can I forget? It is Fry Yeet. <laughs> so happy Friday to everybody. And I hope you guys have an awesome Friday or maybe if it's Saturday for you guys and on the different time zone. And also guys, before we start the video, make sure to check out my social media. The links are below. Make sure to check out my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. No, I did not do any TikTok cringe videos. <laughs> By the way, just to let you guys know. And also make sure to like and comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel. All right, so let's begin with this great granny. Make sure you have your volume up for this story. Scare factor, eight out of 10. All right, so we're gonna get scared eight out of ten guys. Let's see how this scary this really is Okay, kids it's bedtime. You're staying at great granny's Joe's tomorrow's night Okay, mama climbs up ladder lays down in bed All right, so as we can see the mom said that they're gonna she's gonna leave them with the grandma the great grandmas We can see so they're going to bed. All right kids. Good night night mommy kids are ready to go to sleep And let's see what else happens next mom is about to leave the room Wait, mommy! Falling asleep. All right, so the boy, Jackson, is still awake. I don't know what's going on with my boy, Jackson, man. What do you need, Jackson? Who is Great Granny Joe? That is one weird, funky name. All right, let's prepare ourselves. Oh! Oh my God, it's a crusty granny. <laughs> the mom remembers the time Great Granny Joe beat her up as a kid. Ooh. This is not turning out good for these fellas. I'm, I'm sorry, Jackson. I gotta go to b bed now. Oh, okay. Good night, mommy. All right, so the girl's long asleep. Look at her. Oh my gosh, she has no idea what she's gonna get herself into. Okay, Jackson closes his eyes and starts to fall asleep. Oh man, all right. So they had Bone fall asleep already. Let's see what happens next. Okay, so there they are, asleep, innocent, poor little children. They're sleeping in their bed. Oh my god, enters the room. Yo, Granny Joe just came in the room and they have no clue. They're so, like, far asleep. Okay, thinks in mind. I'm going to destroy these kids tomorrow. Oh my god, Granny Joe, why are you being so evil? Oh my god, somebody call the cops. Okay, Granny thinks in mind. It's now time for my revenge. Oh no, she's trying to get revenge. Wait, but how is it revenge? Wouldn't it be revenge if the kids beat her up for beating up their mother? Ooh. It looks like she's just being crazy and continuing off her madness. You guys hear that laugh? Okay, I'm getting pushed back. Wakes up confused. Huh? Oh, he woke up. Wake up, Jackson. Evil laugh. <laughs> oh my god, Granny. She is pure evil. All right, let's go over here. Listen to me, kiddo. If you're going to scream one bit, you will be done. Jackson is scared as everything. Oh my God, poor Jackson. All right, let's see what happens next. You know what? Your family will now suffer. Oh no, Jackson screamed. So now she threatened him. What is she doing? Is she, she's hiding under the pillow. Oh my God, she must be terrified. Oh my God, what's up with everybody in here? She got, she killed Jackson. No! <laughs> oh gosh. Granny Joe is 100% evil. Jackson, no, Granny. How could you? Oh no, man. Get your Granny out of here. Mom, what are you doing? <laughs> the power is mine. Jasmine is next. Oh gosh, she's going after Jasmine next. Poor Jasmine. And rest in peace to my boy Jackson. Mom, please, why would you ruin my life once again? Oh my god, what is wrong with Granny Joe? Because you were late. I did not like when people are late. Dude, is she insane? She's killing everybody because she was late? What? 
Oh my god, what kind of reason is that? Okay, so you're telling me you killed Jackson because I was late when I was his age? Dude, what? This is a crazy plot twist, man. I don't know what's going on here. Yes, that is exactly. Oh no, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe it myself. Oh look, Jasmine woke up, steals the bat. That, that's what I'm talking about, Jasmine. She is fighting back for her brother and her mother and her own life. Ah! Wax granny. Okay, nice. She beat up Granny. She smacked her right in the face. That's what she deserves, man. She deserves plenty more of those. Jasmine! No, leave Jasmine, Mommy. She's doing the right thing. Oh, she knocked out Granny! Oh, he God. needs some milk! That's what you get, Granny. Sweetie, you saved me in the next generations from Great Granny. I'm glad we're safe, Mommy. Okay, so Jasmine came in, took the bat. And smacked Granny right in the face, knocked her out till the cops arrived. You are arrested for the killing of Jackson and Great Granny. What? Dude, they arrested the mom and Jasmine for killing Granny? Dude, what is wrong with this cop? You arrested the wrong people, buddy. Oh my god, that was a major plot twist at the end. Oh no. Alright guys, so for our next story, we got Chucky Doll. Scare Factor 6 out of 10. Oh man, look at his head, it's sticking out of the box. <laughs> Alright, let's go in this Chucky doll story. Daddy, can I get a new doll? Yes, sweetheart, pick out a doll. Oh man, they came shopping for a doll, but little do they know, they came for the wrong dolls, man. You couldn't warn them with a horrible clerk. With a horrible employee, man. She should have told them, picks out doll. Why would you get? No, she doesn't know any better. Alright, let's keep on going. I made my decision. Okay, let's go pay for it now. Uh-oh, they're gonna go pay for Chucky doll now. Hello, is that all you're getting? Yes, that is it for today. Oh my god, you guys hear the laugh? Your total is $256. Um, I have to ask, why is it doll so expensive? That's insane. You know how many chicken wings and McDonald's Big Macs could have bought with that and some chicken nuggets? Dude, I would have been set for the rest of my life. The doll that you are buying is a rare antique. Oh, all right. Do you still want to get it, Brittany? Yes, daddy. Dad's like, bro, I'm paying 256 for this. I'm losing an arm for this doll. But of course, anything for the marvelous, for your marvelous child, right? You would do anything for your child that is. Thank you, daddy, for getting me this doll. You're welcome, Brittany. I'll make some dinner. Oh my god, look, she got Chucky out the box. Oh man, alright, he looks friendly as of now, but we'll see more as we go in the story. Oof, this doll is so heavy. She's almost as tall as a girl. Ooh. Listen to me. Either you stab your dad or I will stab you. What do I have to? Oh my god, so Chucky's like faking her. He's commanding her now. Dude, he's insane. You have two minutes. If you don't, you're dead. Brittany starts crying and runs. Oh no, poor Brittany. She's scared. Poor Brittany. Daddy, throw out the doll now. Sweetie, don't be silly. It's just an antique. It was an expensive. Let's go see it upstairs. Oh no, so now she's telling like the dad scene that she's freaking out. Over. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. No. <laughs> I killed him for you. You're next. No, Chucky, please. I'll do anything to stay alive. Oh my god, she killed the dad. No. What is she gonna do now? Anything I see? Well, join my clan and we can kill others together or else you will die. Um, okay. No, he's recruited Brittany now. Time to get these dolls shit. Whoa, dude, she, they made a buddy doll out of Brittany. Whoa, all right, that was quite an interesting ending, man. That was insane. I did not expect that at the end. All right, so for our next creepy story, we got Slenderman and Slenderina. Oh my god, look at these two. Scare factor 9 out of 10. Hold on to your seats, ladies and gentlemen. We shall get spookified. Okay, class, I want you to meet the new student. A new student? Where's the new student? Who is the new student? Is it the girl or the guy? Or is it the girl back there? I don't know. Let's go check out. Yes, come in. Oh, the student is coming in. All right. All right, let's see. <laughs> Dude, the new student is Slender Man. Hi, I am Slender. I am excited to come to school. Ew, why does Slender look like that? I don't know. Ew, that is so messed up. They're already bullying. They're, they're bullying Slender Man. They're already judging him just off what he looks like. Come on, guys. Have some better sense of humanity. <laughs> right on the board. Ew, Slender, did you pee your pants? What, did Slender pee your pants? I think she's just making up a rumor already. They're already bullying poor Slender Man. All right, this is not going good for Slender. 
Oh! No, actually, you did. Oh my god, come on, Eloise, let's go now. What is going on? Runs out of the room. Yay! Oh my god, they have said he's Slenderman and they met him turn into his evil form. Hey, that's what they get for picking on him, man. It's like they sort of got us on the bad guy side because they're making they're bullying Slenderman before they even knew about him. What is wrong with these people? Yes, I have infected Diana. Your name is now Slenderina. What do you want me to do, Slender? Dude, he infected the girl and he turned her into Slenderina. That is insane. Okay, um, how do you get those kids? They stay at the campsite every Friday. Let's go get them at 3 a.m. Dude, they're planning an attack on the other kids that ran away. <laughs> this is crazy, yo. Guys, are you sure it's a good idea to do this today? Yeah, it's fine. Chill out, Jake. You're a wuss. Oh, man. We'll see what really happens the next Friday. Oh, man. Eloise didn't come out tonight for a reason, Andrew. Just shut up, Jake. Do you know I'm done with you? Dude, what is wrong with Andrew? He's sort of like a <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh my god, Slenderina has arrived to the scene and Slenderman too. Slenderman and Slenderina, please, I beg you, please, not me. Good job, Slenderina, you got Andrew. Oh no, Andrew's next on the list. What? There's a baby Slenderman. Jake, join us, please. Good luck running away. I now have baby Slender. Dude, poor Jake, he's shocked. He's like really shocked he doesn't move. <laughs> and where in the world did this baby Slenderman come from? Oh, man. All right. Why am I the only student, Mr. Davis? I think everyone is just absent today, Eloise. All right. So, Eloise managed to live for now, but we don't know if they're going to come after her after all. And for the teacher, he should be good, right? Because he didn't do anything. He didn't bully Slenderman or Slenderina. Yo, that was insane. <laughs> I've never seen a baby Slenderman in my life. I am so excited. All right. So, now, Piggy. Oh, it's only five out of ten. Come on, I expected it to be a little more frightening. But let's go in here and see what Piggy's all about. Have you guys been hearing about the legend of Piggy? No, what is that? All right, so he's telling them about Piggy. Apparently, they don't know who Piggy is. So they're in for a story, ladies and gentlemen. Piggy wanders around the metro at 3 a.m. every night, and he leaves cash. How much cash does he leave? All right, so Piggy leaves cash at the metro? That is a bit odd. I hear he leaves about 1 million Robux? What? Piggy must be rich. Oh, we should go then. Preston is just a legend. Oh my God. Okay, so now Preston wants to go and check it out himself. I mean, who wouldn't want a million Robux, right? I know you guys would go totally fight somebody for a million Robux. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Daisy, just because it's a legend doesn't mean it's not true. I still want to go. You do you, I guess. All right, so Daisy's like, you know what, guys? It's just a hoax. I don't believe in none, none of this nonsense. You guys just do your thing. And Preston is still being hard-headed and he wants to go check it out because of Roxy being persistent. Here's the plan. We go to the Metro at 2.30 and break in at 3. Deal? Deal, deal. All right, so now it seems like they're set for a plan to go to the Metro and break in to see if it is true or not. Oh, here they are, 3 a.m. All right, guys, keep quiet. You stay here while I grab the loot. I'm a little uneasy, but I'll try my best. Where's the loot? Give me the Robux! I want to take the Robux before they do. All right, five minutes later. When will Roxy be back? I'm not sure. It normally takes like 10 minutes, I think. Uh-oh, Roxy hasn't been back. It's been five minutes, guys. 10 more minutes later? It's already been a while, Preston. It's fine. She's probably taking her time. Maybe she can't find the money. Uh-oh. I wonder what happened to Roxy. It's been 10 minutes. An hour later. Wow. This is just getting out of hand, guys. Preston, I am going to go look for Roxy. I don't care what you say. Daisy, no! Uh-oh, so now they're separated. Don't separate! That is like rule number one in every horror movie, guys. Oh! And we got a piggy jump scare. All right, let's see. Ha, ha, ha! Preston, give me all your money or you die. Tell me where Roxy is first. Oh, no, she got the girl. Oh! So it seems like Piggy does not leave money. It seems like... Piggy loots you for your money at the metro. <laughs> it seems like they interpreted this story wrong the whole time. Oh no. Roxy is dead. Ha ha ha. Now give me the money. Here, this is all I have. Oh, dude, Piggy just stole somebody's Robux in the metro. Oh my god, Piggy, what have you turned into, you maniac? You are arrested for the murder of Roxy and Daisy. It wasn't me. It was Piggy. She's insane. He, Piggy isn't real. Let's go. Dude, what the what the ending to all these stories they always have a plot twist i mean it's pretty awesome because they don't end how you expect how they would end 
They all have a little twist at the end, which makes it more awesome. <laughs> all right, so I had to pay Robux. It says VIP only for this story. So I, I, I mean, I didn't mind supporting this game because it, it is well made, as we can see. And there's also another part to it. And man, let's just get that to the end. All right, so let's go into this on Ouija board. Oh, 10 out of 10. Guys, I think this is the first one that is 10 out of 10 on the scare factor. I don't think these guys paid for it, so you guys are going to have to watch it on the video. So I, I will glitch in. All right, I'll see you glitch in, man. Let's see if they glitch in. All right, let's begin with this. Look what I found in the attic. Oh, no, she found a Ouija board. Oh, that's kind of sick. Is that a Ouija board? Uh-oh, these guys are in for a trouble. Yes, it's a Ouija board. Okay, uh, Sasha, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, man, let's see what happens. Oh, Tristan, don't be a baby now. Uh-oh, so now she's making fun of Tristan because he is a little iffy about this Ouija board. And I know we all are about Ouija boards in real life. I would not play with the Ouija board myself. Man, you gotta be cray cray. Okay, fine, let's play. Uh-oh, they peer pressured Tristan into playing the Ouija board. Guys, don't ever get peer pressured into anything. The outcome will never be good. Okay, let's see. All right, I'll go first. Uh-oh, here they go. Here are they, they're commencing to play with the Ouija board. Spirits, are you here? Yes. Oh my God, the Ouija board is talking back. <laughs> they just awoke the spirits. Spirits, would you ever kill someone in this room? Yes. Tanner, why would you say that? Dude, the Ouija board said yes. These guys are challenging the spirits now. Are they crazy? Oh no. All right, Tristan, I just wanted to know who will die in this room first? Tristan. They're gonna kill Tristan first because he asked first, guys. That's how it works. Don't ask me, but that's how the evil magic voodoo works behind this. Oh man. I could care less. I don't believe this anyway. Oh, Tristan. Oh my god. All right, so Tristan, like, man, this is just fake. Blah, whatever. When will Tristan die? No, Taylor, I don't wanna know. Later tonight. Oh my gosh, Tristan is a long gone now, man. If I was you, I would just go hide like in a police station or somewhere. Not a police station, somewhere where you'll be safe. I don't know, wherever you can be safe. Tristan, this can't be. Guys, are you dumb? This is fake. Well, Tristan, we'll see in a matter of minutes if it is fake or not. How will Tristan die? From the spirits. Goodbye. Uh-oh, so it seems like he's gonna get haunted now and die by the spirits. I'm going home. See you guys tomorrow. Tristan, I'm sorry. Okay, so it seems like Tristan's a little freaked out and he's like, I'm out of here, guys. He shouldn't have left, though. He should have stayed with the group because bad things are about to happen, man. Mark my words. Do you guys think Tristan is going to die tomorrow, guys? I hope he doesn't, but he probably will. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so now we're at Tristan's house. I'm scared, but, but why am I believing this? Oh, no, he's crying in his room. Poor Tristan. What's the matter? Nothing, Mom. It's fine. I'm going to bed now. <laughs> Poor Tristan. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Good night, son. Good night. Dude, did you not see your child crying when he clearly said nothing's the matter? Come on, mom. You gotta be better than this. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Dude, that's from the Dead Silence movie or Game Over. I don't know, but that was a, that's a freaking movie. If you want to watch scary movie, guys, make sure to check it out. Oh, Christian! Oh my god, he killed himself! Oh, so that jump scare we got, the spirit attacked. That's what it meant. The spirit attacked Tristan. And as we can see, Tristan is now dead on the floor. He is no longer with us. Oh my God, rest in peace to Tristan. Tristan passed away. I just got a call from his mom. We shouldn't have done that. Oh no. Of course they should feel guilty because Sasha should feel guilty because she's the one that found the Ouija board. She's the one that instigated. And she's the one that started all of this, man. All right, <laughs> everybody's waiting over here. Hey. I'm over here, guys. Over here. All right, there you go. Now they saw me. They allocated me now. All right, so this is a double major thumbs up to these scary stories. Shout out to the creator of the game. I really loved your stories. They were awesome. You should keep on making more so I can keep making more scary story videos. But he does have another one, the first one. So we should go back to that one on some other time to make a video on those. That should be awesome as these were. So 10 out of 10 to all these. All right, you guys. Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button for your boy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn down notification bell on. And I will see you guys in the next one. Yay!